Tonsil stones. In medical terminology, it is called as tonsillolith. First, let us see what are these tonsils. Tonsils are paired structures seen in the oropharynx that is behind the tongue. One on either side, it is alban shaped. It forms part of a protective system of the body that is a part of the immune system of the body. So, if there is any entry of uh, bacteria or virus to the oral cavity, these tonsils will take care. See, what happens in this formation of the tonsillar stone is that normally in the oral cavity, we have, we have a bacteria called as leptothrix. So, this bacteria is a saprophytic virus normally seen in the oral cavity. So, with this bacteria forms the center point of this tonsillar stones, that is the nearest and there will be calcium deposit around this bacteria along with retained secretions on the, from the tonsils, which is seen on the tonsil. This forms the tonsil stones. These, these are calcium deposits, calcium salts. So, this, it looks like this. It can be single or it can be more than, more than two also. So, the main complaint of the patient will be, they say that they have bad smell from the oral cavity, from the mouth. And most of them, they say that the others complain about it. And they have a foreign body sensation in the throat or some irritation in the throat always. And some of them, out of curiosity, they stand in front of the mirror, they examine the throat. And they find there is something whitish or light yellow in color over the tonsil and they try to remove it. And it is cheesy, they complain that it is cheesy in material, it smells bad. So these are the common complaints from the patient. So on examination, like how they have mentioned, there will be a yellowish hard uh, stone like structure seen in the tonsillar crypts and it can be easily removed and the whole area may be red in color and they may have, uh, the tonsil can be infected also. So we don't need a specific investigation to come to a diagnosis. This is a spot diagnosis actually. Now coming to the treatment, most of the patients they are worried whether they need surgery for it, why it doesn't go off, is it part of a, any part, is it, is it any sort of a malignancy or any cancer? No, you don't have to be worried about this condition at all. Reassurance is all that is needed. This is a simple condition and with uh, advancement of age, slowly it, uh, it goes off. And some of them, they try to remove it manually and it comes off easily and that relieves the complaints. So, in case the patient has got history of recurrent attacks of tonsil, tonsillitis or sore throat along with fever and there is persistent bad smell from the, from the mouth or oral cavity and this is long persisting and it affects their social activities also. In that case, the only way to relieve from all these complaints are you have to remove the tonsil. In short, we need to do a tonsillectomy if there is only, only if there is persistent halitosis and recurrent and or, or recurrent tonsillitis. So this is how we manage tonsil stones or tonsillolith. Thank you so much.